Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello and welcome to the College Investor Audio Show. So glad you're a part of things today. And let's take a look at something really cool. How to pay off $10,000 of debt in one year. That's what we're talking about today. Let's check it out. So it's that time of year where we kind of start to look back on what we have and haven't accomplished and decide what to tackle in the second half of the year. Now, for many, wealth building and debt reduction will be among the top goals for the rest of the year. If eliminating some of your debt, eliminating? What is that word? That's a new word I just invented. But if eliminating some of your debt while simultaneously improving other parts of your financial life are among some of your goals, today's show is just for you. So it's time to take back control and kick your debt to the curb. It can sound like paying off large amounts of debt in a short period of time is impossible, but I'm telling you, it's not. You can even pay off $10,000 of debt in just one year. Whether you have student loan debt or credit card debt, there are options for you. Here's how you can pay off ten grand in just a year. Work backwards. All right, so the first step in any good debt payoff plan is knowing how much money you need to come up with in order to meet your goal. Saying that you're going to pay off $10,000 in debt in one year, that's not good enough. You need to break down that number so that you can hit smaller milestones. The simplest way to make this calculation is to divide $10,000 by 12. This would mean you need to pay off $833 a month to have contributed to your goal amount to your debt payoff plan. This number, though, does not factor in the interest on your debt, by the way. If you want to see the impact of interest and how much you can save by accelerating your debt payoff plan, you can use the debt calculator like the one provided by Bankrate. So here's a quick example. Let's assume that um, $10,000 of credit card balance, okay, at 16% interest rate. In order to pay the balance off in one year, you need to have payments of $907 a month. That was what would be needed, and also that would save you over $4,000 in interest. My goodness, what a huge savings. You can use a calculator um, that we have at thecollegeinvestor.com to find this out. You tally up all of your current debts, and then see what you could save with an accelerated debt payoff plan. Now, the next step is to decide on your strategy. If you only have one debt... You don't really need to worry about coming up with a strategy, of course, other than how much your monthly payments will be. You can simply choose to automate your payments and consider yourself done. However, if you're working on multiple debts, you'll have to determine in what order you'd like to pay those off. There are two very popular strategies for doing this, the debt snowball and the debt avalanche. Debt snowball method. So with this one, You'll list your debts from smallest to largest balance and work on paying off the smallest balance regardless of interest rate while making minimum payments on everything else. Once the smallest balance is paid off, you move on to the next smallest while still meeting all other monthly payments. Debt Avalanche With this method, you list all of your debts from highest interest to lowest interest rate. It all has to do with interest rates. You then focus on putting all of your extra money toward your highest interest rate while making minimum payments on the rest. There's a lot of debate over which method you should use, and there is actually no right answer. Yeah, say that in a blog. There's no right answer. (laughs) But it's true, there isn't. The debt snowball method is great. If you like quick wins and just want to eliminate smaller bills, the debt avalanche is great. If you're focused on saving the most money and interest, once you pick your strategy, the most important thing is stick to it and then consider how often you'll be making extra payments and then whether or not to automate your plan. All of those things, very important. Here's the next thing you should think about. Free up money in your budget. At a glance, paying off 10 grand in a year can seem like a big old number. However, Once broken down, coming up with the extra money isn't really as hard as it seems. If you're serious about getting rid of your stinking debt, one of the first places you should look at is your current spending. There are always ways to stretch more out of a budget with minimal effort. Here are some things to consider. Monitor your spending, of course. It's impossible to know where to cut back if you don't know where you're spending. 
You can sign up with a service like Personal Capital for free. Personal Capital automatically monitors and categorizes your spending after you link your bank accounts. Participate in Uber Frugal Month. Cutting back on spending has just as much to do with mindset as it does with actual needs. Early retirees, Mr. and Mrs. Frugal Woods, have an immense financial success through practicing frugality and without feeling deprived. In January, they are hosting an Uber Frugal, Uber Frugal Challenge of the Month. Say that five times fast. The challenge can help you lower your costs and discover alternative ways of utilizing your money. You can sign up for the challenge here. Uber Frugal Challenge Month. There, I got it. Easily save an extra $500 a month. What? It's very likely that you are needlessly spending without even realizing it. We have a post that breaks down 15 simple ways that you can squeeze an extra 500 bucks out of your budget each month. If all of these ideas are applicable to your situation, you'll free up $7,000 over the course of a year. All you have to do is click on the collegeinvestor.com, type in save an extra 500 bucks per month, you'll find it. All right, now budget for your personality. This is a huge thing. So one of the biggest mistakes new budgeters make is trying to adopt a system that doesn't fit their personality and then they won't stick to it. The trick to making a budget work is finding a way to make it a regular part of your life. We broke down that different ways to create a budget that works for you. You can see that at thecollegeinvestor.com as well. It's like everything is there. Let's move on to another tip for you. Earn more if you need to. It's always a good idea to trim away the fluff in your budget. It's also important to look for days to earn a little bit more cashage if you need. Depending on how much extra money you need, you may be able to get by with putting in a couple of hours per week overtime. Or you could start a side hustle to earn more. Earning more money is a perfectly viable option for the majority of the U.S. population. You can look at some of the hundreds of different ideas we've already listed on the collegeinvestor.com for you. This is one of the most important strategies for myself when it came to paying off my student loan debt. I was able to earn an extra $2,000 a month by selling stuff on eBay and starting a blog. Track your progress. All right, so paying off 10 k a year is not an easy feat. It's going to take some hard work and you'll probably have to recommit to your goal a few times. <laughs> so one of the best ways to keep yourself motivated is to continually track your progress and celebrate the small wins. When things get hard, don't give up. In a year from now, you'll be thanking yourself for sticking with the plan. That is all we have for you today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope that gave you some ideas on seriously how to pay off $10,000 in debt in one year. There's tons of resources. I mentioned a few of them. You can find them at thecollegeinvestor.com. If you type in the words, pay off $10,000, yeah, you'll find it. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you again very soon.